Hello, today I'm going to speak about the what they call the mental health. Mental health, it have to deal with a lot of lot of things. What I have, I call it connection with supernatural and natural interaction. Because of mental health, you took you're talking about invisible, the invisible that in your head, that you not seeing it. You only can feel. But see here is the thing is go back to the creation of human soul. So you're talking about the soul. The soul is invisible. The soul is, is this only power, that that power or the soul incarnate into the woman womb and then generate the spirit. It's called the human spirit. So this human spirit are the one do all the work, not the soul. The soul is like the machine, constantly generate the spirit or the power, or you might call it energy, for your brain, your physical body operate. In the Bible, say, Adam, Adam is the soul. Eve, Eve is the symbolic of, of the human spirit. Because when say that, take the bone, the rib from Adam and create Eve, it means that Eve is symbolic of human spirit. That's why Eve do all the work. It means that human spirit do all the work. Your brain operate by your own spirit that generate from your soul. Now your soul generate your spirit based on how you live your daily life. Okay, based on how you live your daily life for the soul to generate spirit. In and then with it, how you live your life as a fuel for the machine to generate the power. Did you got that? Okay. Now come back. Let me share with you three revelations. And then I will move forward to deep of the mental health. And how you effect of good mental or bad mental you can call is depression or violent any kind of mental of, of illness of mental illness I'm speaking about I can tell you right now less than one percent or maybe one percent of human on earth don't have mental illness. Everyone else have a mental illness of very level. You're talking about tons and tons of level. People just don't understand and they can say that, oh, so-and-so have a mental illness. I don't have a mental illness. But you know what? The person says that I don't have a mental illness. It's the one that probably have was a mental illness and the one that she or he pointed to have a mental illness, okay? In order for mental illness is the evil power got in your brain means with your spirit. That gives you thinking, gives you thought. That's how the mental illness. 
any time in your human body, your spirit has certain level of bad power. You can call it demon, you can call it devil power, evil power. There's a different level, there's a lot of them. When you have those mixed in your spirit, that you have a mental illness, just more or less, and you all live in deny. Now, you can say, oh, that mental illness, oh, what that person thing you not exist. It's not exist on earth because it has not manifesting on earth yet. Because everything create in power level before manifesting on earth. You say, okay, you just science. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't argue about that. Don't trust science. I trust science. But I'm speaking about things before the science beginning at research. Now, scientists, friend, they depend on the power to discover and to do their work. It means that it has to give them to the scientists by the master of the universe or by the two of he children, one male and one female that reveal in the chapter one of Genesis, verse 26 and 27. Because the master of universe only create two souls. Two souls, one male and one female. At, in the Genesis 26, 27, those are fully God and fully human. Now, that fully God and fully human that has two male and female, those are the ones that create all the human soul, male and female, in the image of the Almighty God. The Master doesn't do the creation of all human soul. He only do the two, male and female. Because when the Master creates this two, male and female, he creates from himself. The super, almighty supernatural power. That's why these two, male and female on Genesis, are fully God and fully human. Now, you already know well, throughout the Bible, and through the Word, through the teaching, the male soul, has a fully God nature. Was the fully God was uh, the Messiah. And fully man was Jesus. Now I'm telling you now, because of where I come from, because of me, that how I understand well, a uh, very well, the female is my soul. My daddy, my divine father, created my soul from himself. The exactly same thing he created the Messiah came at Jesus' soul. Exactly the same, nothing different. The only different was the gender. Jesus is my brother, he's older than me, he's a male. And I'm younger, and the female. Jesus came and he left the world first. He lived a single man. 
He has a no, absolutely no relationship with any woman on earth because my soul always with him, right next to him, the whole time, from the time that my soul was created. Even now, when he was in, not born on earth, the two of us are sibling. We make two souls. I'm talking about the soul here. When he incarnated into the Blessed Mary womb, I always there with him around, around Blessed Mary, my soul. So when he hung on the cross, the, throughout the journey of he carried his cross to the Ganga town, my soul right next to him. I watched my brother suffer. I cried. I cry a whole lot. The entire time that they beating my brother. And they nail him, both of his hand and his feet on the cross. I cried. My soul cried. Until he fully left the world. He saw with me then two two of us siblings next to each other the entire time. We still do now. The Jesus, the funny man saw, is still here. He's here with me. He doesn't go anywhere. Where I be? My brother with me. Now Jesus left because he's a male. He have no descendant. He's male, he doesn't give birth. So he has no descendant. It's forced him into, not force him in not the right word, but my divine father, the master of the universe, decided on the creation blueprint. While Jesus as my sign on earth, he owned everything. My divine father owned. He owned my divine father estate. When I'm speaking about divine father, I'm speaking about the master of the universe, which is the almighty eternal supernatural power that has a no beginning, no end. Because of this supernatural power always exists throughout the universe. Now you know when I'm, what I'm talking about. Before he left the earth, he already have a lot of hints throughout the Bible that another advocate come in, another has come in, I perceive from the Father. He spoke about my soul. And this soul, this myriad soul. Before he breathed his last breath on the cross, on John chapter 19, say, he called to me as a woman. Woman! Behold, your son. That is symbolism, language. It's I mean sister. Receive the father estate. I'm transferring to you now. I'm leaving this world. You, sis, you will come on earth. So now you own everything here. And he turned himself to my divine father estate and all the my father estate. Son, son symbolic of my divine father estate.
be her your mother. No, no, what he said. He said you go to your owner, my sister. So now, I own the my. I inherited. I have to say the word inherited. The mass of universe is that entire set since to that point on the power. Well, also on Earth too. But you know, the Earth knee on the other Earth it doesn't mean anything to me. My brother has told me all the day. He said, "Why on Earth I own everything? It doesn't mean anything to me." Because we're not in on this world about earthly things. Now, so I own the entire estate. And when I incarnate on earth, my duty as a female, I have to carry out uh, the commandment. Multi Fertilize and multiply. It's on Genesis. It means I grow up and I get married, which is I have to marry to the man. There's a gnosis of marriage, same sex. The same sex together and the same sex have a sexual relationship are not married. No, they are not married because the creation marry only male and female. So the same sex do whatever you live together, take care of each other, you love each other, you have sex with each other. The same same gender I hear I'm talking about, and not marry. There's no marry of the two persons same sex. Because you cannot give birth for two gender having sex. You see what I'm saying? In a manner way that if the two gender, all the day my father told me, the sex between the same gender, two person, is a game. This is a game for them to feel good. That's what my divine father gave it to me. I don't, I'm not here to tell you not to involve same sex partner. Because you have the free will. You choose what you want to do. I'm not telling you, oh, go ahead and do it, or not to do it. Your free will. You're going to be, your soul will receive a consequence. I'm not telling you. Now, soul is an, a power unit, generate spirit, because your whole body operates. Let me now beginning with the first revelation. It's not my revelation. It is the type, the real type command of Afghanistan. General Austin Scott Miller. He sent me an email. He said, honey, Donna came to my dream during the night. He wear uniform. We had like the meeting we had before while he was uh, alive. And he tell me, you, she is uh, the best woman for you. Now Donna is my predestined brother. He was killed by C American CIA operative architects and murdered him with several other American soldier. General Miller was a, his superior. He always tell me, call General Miller his commander as a superior. A lot of time he's called me on Skype. We was talking, boy talking. And the next thing I saw 
tipping on. And he say, uh, my superior just walk in, can he, can we, can, can, can we talk instead talk? And I say, oh my God, okay. See that how my brother. In another word that when he say, my brother say to General Austin Scott Miller, his sister, is this one, is that the best woman for you. He speak about my funny divinity. Well, yeah, part of that is my funny human. But he spoke about my divinity. Oh, my, my funny almighty God. See, almighty God, I am a part of the mass of universe. The Messiah is a part of the mass of universe. I do think, I still need a proof from my father. Messiah came on earth as Jesus, fully man, he does, he did thing. He still needs a proof or permission from our divine father. We have to have a rule and regulation. The Messiah did not just say, ha ha, I'm on the earth while he was on the earth and I, he do everything. Well, no, he didn't do that. The same thing to me. I could have some room to make adjustment. Given to I own everything, my divine father, on. But I still under my divine father authority, my daddy. And the second revelation also John Miller. I think this one was last year or over years ago. He said, honey, I had a dream uh, you and I was dancing at our uh, wedding reception. Donna was there. Donna is my brother. He sat all by himself at a table that has a lot of food, so beautiful, while the rest of the people sit uh, of a different side. And I asked him who I was the rest of the people, and he said, I saw Donald Trump, I saw uh, Gany, the president of Afghanistan, I saw Biden, and he saw the leader, the top leader of the country. That's what he saw. So I asked him, what did you wear? He say, I wore purple suit in the white. I laugh, I say, purple suit. Purple, symbolic of royal. In another word that he has as the kingdom of heaven. Royal protection. From he predestined married to me. And he say, you was wearing white with some purple mix in it. And I say, oh, for me, that one is the white symbolic a pure. Then no wrong. Pure. And he say, I was kissing you and then I stand, stood up and clapped his hand. And I said, that is a really good sign. It means it's symbolic of the union between the divine and human race. Now, General, General Austin from Common Ray, he's not, 
He's not from the royal. This one is from the royal. Messiah Jesus and my soul are royal. Kingdom of heaven royal. My children born from royal, born as royal, but they are not funny God. They only funny human. But predestinate General Miller's so as my spouse. He became the member of the royal family. He bridged the barrier between General Miller and I, bridged the human ray and Almighty God. In another word, and make the whole entire human race so in one family of God. Now people say that stepson, stepdaughter, but I don't call Jenna Miller son and daughter. He had one son and one daughter as a stepson or stepdaughter. I have to adopt them from me as fully God and fully human, adopted them. They become the member of the kingdom of heaven. Royal family member, you see. In and then what, through them, the entire human ray, the common ray, and became the children of God. Now you are not automatic it become the children of the same family of God. Until I adapted Sarah Miller and Austin Scott Miller Jr. as my adopted son and adopted daughter. It's not mean that to all the people that already passed this world, no longer on earth, not include. It will include, it will include them as well. And the third revelation, it's a my revelation. I just saw it last night. What I saw was in my dream, right in front of me, just like that. My soul song, my body is asleep. And an entrance, a single entrance. There's an old dog. Both sides was wah. You know the wah? Uh, but the wah built from black smoke. Black smoke. Symbolic of Satan called devil power. It varies depend on how thick it is, but it is a very strong evil power. Inside of the engine, it was, I still, I, I can see it, but kind of dark it, because the black smoke Form as a worm, W O R M as strand. And then like this. So it's a too thick of the string, black smoke strand. So it's, it's, it's still can see, but hard. 
immediate door here, immediate right here, in right in the middle. I saw a criminal soldier. See, the, the, when I say about, I say, I'm very careful with the word. When I say the word criminal, oh, mob, M-O-B-S, M-O-B-S, they are symbol of the bad, the evil, the level of the evil. So I saw the criminal soldier who impersonate my predestined spouse. The real top commander of U.S. force and NATO in Afghanistan. The one that looks similar to General Austin Scott Miller. The one that flown in Washington on July the 14th. 2021 and the one that the Secretary of Defense and Joy Chief of Step Chairman welcome the criminal after he walked out the jet you see, two criminal welcome the criminal with the Secretary of Defense and the Joy Chief of Staff Chairman. They know they are the one that arranged for this criminal look similar to General Miller for impersonate General Miller as top commander of Afghanistan return home. You see that? American blind. That's what God said. They have eyes and they black. They have ear and they deaf. That jet flown that criminal soldier impersonate the Honorable Top Commander, Austin Scott Miller, that jet. The trip was General Austin Scott Miller returned home from deployment, air, transportation benefit. Uh, but the Joseph Biden stolen, stolen that trip from General Miller, Austin Scott Miller, for flown the criminal soldier, impersonate the real top commander of Afghanistan, General Austin Scott Miller in Washington. You see how screw up, how evil men do. Because uh, they might have very, very severe mental illness. Joseph Biden have very, very heavy mental illness. I can see from his face. It's, it's, well, yeah, his action. But I can see from the way, look at his face. No one can fool me. Of their face that I see. You see that how mental illness operate the secretary of defense and the joint chairman of staff also have a very severe 
mental illness. If they don't have a mental illness, they would never, never do those kind of severe international criminal. Because of that, when the real top commander of Afghanistan sent his son, Junior, I call him Junior. His name Austin Scott Miller too. His army new turn. So the army new turn came to the White House, has a meeting with Biden on September the 29th, 2021. He said, to President Biden, I want to say president, I defer to you call him at the president. But the United States country do not have a president before God. I'm very clear that. So by Junior uh, tell Biden, my dad is not in America. I request you as the president. In another word, he applied So he that benefit, he father benefit of return home after deployment in Afghanistan. Biden deny because he already stole that and he gave it to the criminal already flown in on July the 14th. Yes, Biden can deploy an energy. But when involve me, this one, my divine father did not let him do that to deploy the jet that not original General Austin Scott Miller returned home from deployment air transportation. You see that? You see how how careful that the Almighty God does he think? So General Miller has my air bus it is Airbus 319-100. That one right there on the picture. I can turn this so you can see. You see that? The picture of my aircraft behind General Austin Scott Miller, South Sudan National Chief Police. Aviation engineer, the captain pilot, and the co pilot. The picture took where my, at the time my aircraft parked, on the ground of Katu International Airport. That aircraft. The, that aircraft, the Biden, and he pop has people at the American Embassy in Khartoum blow up twice, and they fell. They mounted bombs in my aircraft. The first time, my dad tell me. He also talked to the prophet from South Africa because when my dad talked to me, he spoke to me in symbol. But when he spoke to the prophet, he spoke in human language. So the chief police, I told my, my husband, Jenna Miller. So Jenna Miller, other 
the chief police and the chief police get bomb squad, take out the bomb. They, they, they locate and take out the bomb safely. The second time, it was about same day, the airplane already about to take off. So they check outside, I think, I told them to check outside. But just about before the pilot take off, General Miller said, Ho, oh, wait, we're going to search the aircraft again. You know, did you see how the Almighty spoke to General Miller, to his thought, and to his word? You see that I'm, I'm, I'm moving around and I explain things. And I tell you how it worked. That was how the Almighty, which is my Divine Father, or maybe my divinity, pushed General Miller. No, don't take off yet. We need to search the aircraft again. So they searched the aircraft. They found uh, the bomb. The former NATO chairman, who is a Britain retired Air Force general, and UK Chief Marshal, Sir Stuart Peach, and the aviation engineer found the bomb. The engineers are the one that removed from my aircraft. Out of my aircraft, the engineer tried to disable it so it would not explode and, and, and kill all the people, but it accidentally is explode while the engineer was disabled. So injure the engineer and injure the former NATO chairman. You see how the, the mental units of the Biden and he coming apart in Washington order to blow up my jet. Do you see how the mental units does? Did you see that? Don't see that. Oh, yeah, they are Congress. Oh, yeah, they are Senator. Oh, yeah, they are this and that. All of them have a mental illness. Different kind. A different level. The innocent is the baby. But see, some of the baby inherited mental illness, which is not active. That's why the baby is so innocent. Now, okay, I go back to the revelation. At the face of criminal soldier impersonate General Miller. When I saw him, I knew it right away. His skin dark. Dark is mean not dark skin. It's not African. But dark from he have not was he face for too long and dirt layer and layer layer on his skin. His face has several wounded from being beat up. One of them was on his right side. It's right here. About one inch wide and two in long. It's wide open, no skin. Raw, raw, he just got beat up. And some blood, raw blood dripping down. 
he hair really thick uh, because uh, dirt thick in he hair. I'm not talking to my hair. Sick in he hair, and he has not white How many since uh, he born? I cannot even tell the color. That kind of thick of dirt. When speak to the hair, hair symbolic of your brain. What you thinking? Your memory, a mental, your mental health. That case, in this case, he hair. Tell me, very, very severe mental illness. You see what I'm explaining? He clothes. It looked like the uniform, but I cannot tell the color because the dirt, loose dirt, viewer. Soaking in his clothes. From the t uh, I can say from the time he put that outfit in. How many many years before? And he was play outside on the dirt ground and lose the cling into his outfit. The clothes that kind of Dirty. Symbanics of the whole being being controlled by the devil power. Now you see, you have a hair and the clothes. So the entire body and the, the devil power. And I can tell you right now, Washington doesn't want to hear me. But I'm, I, it's my job. It's my job. I have to say. If I don't say, I don't do my job. But see again, I have to. I don't have a free will. I only can say what my divine father gave me. So I'm speaking to you now. My divine father breathe in my head. I call it breathe because of his power pouring in. You see, I speak a little bit slow. Sometimes I pause because of the powers transforming to a human language. Because of the power, you don't see the word. You cannot speak if, it, if the power does not transform into the human language. That's why I told Kristen Amaper, you have a question, interview me. Or oh, everybody in this world have a question. I have the answer. Because I'm not the one answer. Now, when you ask me a question, it has to be given to you by my Father or by my divinity. And my, either my divinity, which is a part of my divine Father, it's the same one, or my Father, Divine Father, give me the answer. You see what I'm saying? So don't underestimate me. Now let me go back to the whole thing of the revelation that I saw doing last night. After I saw it, I knew it. The guy just been beat up, but he didn't even know he beat up. 
And look at Yves, he didn't even know that he had bitter. In another words, ignorant. Deny he have a mental illness. That's how Washington now. The Washington here is exactly what uh, the criminal soldier impersonate General Miller showed to me during last night. That the whole soldier and the room and the fan wall tell me the entire United States government in Washington and in operating in all the country as well. Just you, you see how the mental illness is eh? they can't <laughs> the San Diego PD send a young woman over to me and tell me the woman about uh, 25, 26 young, under 30, she told me what I know in the power. It's not exist. She didn't know. And then I know whether she tell me that I'm crazy. I tell her, get out of my door. Don't ever come in here again. So I sent an email to that police. I said, don't you ever send anybody to my house. You see, the people that have a mental illness, they don't even know they have a mental illness. They think something else have a mental illness. My brother, Messiah came at Jesus, funny man. He fell and he said, he's out of mind. In another word, they say that he's also mental illness. If you have a mental illness, And you deny it. It's only getting worse for you. I saw a lot on Facebook. Thousand, hundred or thousand of Facebook account exist. Open in the name General Austin Scott Miller, live in Kabul, Afghanistan, born in Hawaii, and even give out, put his birthday on too. General Miller doesn't have any account, um, social media account. He has zero, zero, zero. It all scam because criminal, criminal here from everywhere throughout the world in America. They saw Jenna Miller, handsome. Yeah, he is a handsome man. I, I admit that he is a handsome man. That's how God created him. During the time he was in Afghanistan, the last trip, he speak to the press. He hold press conference. He do talk to the people. And news people recorded him. That how criminal God he and he named go out scam woman I can tell you right now I saw on Facebook and on YouTube tons and tons of women commented about General Miller a lot of them in love with him Ask him to respond to them. They want to see him. They want to shake his hand. Those kind of things. And then they back to the Facebook. 
women lost money to scam. They think that they send money to General Austin Scott Miller. I have Facebook to close over 300 accounts open under General Austin Scott Melanie and still alive out there. When I saw a woman on Facebook communicate with uh, the account open under the name General Austin Scott Miller or Austin Scott Miller or Austin Miller and he was General Austin Miller name. I say, look, you are not communicating with the real Austin Scott Miller. You communicate with scam. I told them at first, I said, my brother, General Miller is my brother commander. Because I don't want to say it because they're going to think that, you know, I'm like those women <laughs> being scammed and think that General Miller, so I didn't want to say that at first. And later on, my father told me, he said, you have to get your last name at Doe Miller. See, my last name is Doe Nguyen. Doe is my dad's first name. Nguyen is my mother's maiden name. That's how I use for my authorship. I'm a book writer. So when my father tell me I have to use the last name, Del Miller, it means he tell me, you have to tell the world, Austin Scott Miller is your spouse, your predestined spouse. That's how the way God speaks. He doesn't speak like the way humans speak. He can speak to you through other people. To the TV you see things and you say, Oh, that what is it? Oh no. Do you see how the way that God speak to you? The mental illness. Very difficult to heal. Because of evil power. You have to really make completely change. Only I can tell you to read the Bible because when you read Bible, the power comes through. And you learn from that. You understand creation law. You make change. You eat spiritual food through your eyes and your ear. What kind of spiritual food do you eat? Daily, TV, game, Facebook, YouTube, everything are those. Feed your soul, spiritual food. And your soul, use that substance, what you eat with your eyes, your ear, generate your soul. Spirit and your spirit operate your whole being. Now you see what I'm saying here. You watch violent TV. You eat evil food. You watch XXX video. You eat evil spiritual food. You listen to Violent music or music with bad words. 
You eat evil spiritual food. You play game. Ha! That's game. The kid play game. It's a very dangerous. They're shooting or they're running. They're falling down to the sea. They're dropping down from sky. Those are bad spiritual food. I know it's game. But when you play those kind of game, you eat bad spiritual food. I have to tell you, because uh, my Divine Father gave me now. I know this video is going to be long. My father already told me before I started. You cannot watch this video one time. And you remember. No, you're going to have to watch this video again, again, and again. I born as Funi Divine and Funi Human, but it took over 30 years, 24-7, for my Divine Father teach me to become a person I am today. I'm just not just suddenly just pop out and say, hey, I'm Funi God and I'm Funi Human, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to it's not that have to learn. It takes time. The important thing now, oh, let me talk about vaccinate, COVID vaccinate. I do, I take the, I do the vaccinate for COVID. I do. But let me tell you something. If you do all your shot, COVID shot, you still get COVID. The only difference because of the vaccine, black. The symptom, that original or origin, mean at the beginning, pandemic, COVID, kill people. Not to that, not to occur, but uh, the COVID still, virus still in your body. And it will cause a different illness. You hear that? I wear masks. I always wear masks. Sometimes I don't like it, but I still wear masks. I went to the gym. People don't wear masks. I still wear. I take in gym bag class, body come back class. I wear masks. I do. Sometimes it's hard to breathe when you take body combat class. But I always try to get in the fun. So if people behind me have COVID, they cannot breathe in front of me. But you, you see what I'm saying? So remember, vaccine do not prevent you get COVID or any other virus. Other day, two days ago, I subscribed to what they call the White House private tax. It say that, it say someone created and Biden was the one, you know, texting respond. They didn't respond to what I asked them. So the last one was, he said, 20 million people get COVID tests, and today I joined them, I got my whatever, the booster that Biden get. So on my response, I say, I got my seven booster shot. 
few days ago. Seven. <laughs> they only have three. And I say, I had number seven three days ago. It was on October 25th. So in December 25th, I will get my number eight booster shot. By February 25th, I will get my number nine booster shot. And I'm done. This guinea pig no longer afraid of COVID. When COVID see this guinea pig, COVID run away. I post that my text on my Facebook. The whole thing on my response was a revelation. Number eight, symbolics of supernatural power. Number seven, a beginning of something, some project. Number nine is a completion. Guinea pig, <laughs> that's just a cute guinea pig. That apply to human, a symbolic of human. That's what I did. So here, I don't believe everything politicians tell you. Don't believe them at all because all politicians operating by uh, the lying evil spirit. Because they make promise, they couldn't do it. They know well that candidate alone, if he win the election, he cannot do it. But he lied to you for you to vote to them. You see what I'm saying here? So all politicians are liars at the S at the M in different level. But they live in the now. They don't have this summon gift. Well, actually the gift, gift. They have it built to their soul, but that discernment power doesn't activate. They don't, with them, everything they done or they try to do are correct. Because the devil gives them. Yeah, this one is right. Just do it. And so when they do things, they only see like this, this much. For example, Food stamp. Who pay food stamp? Not the government. Government don't have the money. The tax I pay has to pay them. Or the government just print it, print it, and print it, and print it, and print it, and print it money. You see? You see? That is a bill system. I love people. I do. Throughout my life, I help a lot of people without looking for being paid or for getting anything back. But you have to give, help them in the way so they can help themselves. See, if I am a government, 
I'm gonna say, okay, uh, you divorce this guy and you have several kids. So where's the guy live? And they live in the same house. It's just a divorce in the paper. The guy go work, get, get the money. And the woman get, and the children get money from taxpayer, get food stamp. Forever and ever. That's just wrong. It's a must be end. You help people. You have to build the plan. Okay, you have this family of five children. Now you're applying for food stamp and grant. I can give you $500 cash. I'm sorry, this number. I know it's not enough. I can give you $500 a month cash. And I give you $600 food stamp. For three months, I can give you $500 cash. And the four months, I can give you four fifty. Deduce it. Deduce it. So they, they can go out and look for job. And another three months after that, I give you four hundred. You see what I'm saying? The same thing to the food stamp. You have to decrease and decrease. Do the time that decrease, they go out, find job. They have to be responsible for their life. They have to be responsible for their children. They brought them in the war. They have to feed them. And they have to teach them. You give birth to the children. You brought them in the war. You have to raise them physically and spiritually. I don't care. They are 21 or they 65. My children always still my children. I still responsible before God if they didn't know. Not mean that they're 18 or 21, they get out of your house and you don't have to worry about them. No, 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 not before God. You brought your children in this world, you always responsible for them. I raise my children by my action. I don't screaming or yelling at my children. I don't spank my children, not even once. I have four children, two boys. I don't have any problem with two girls, but two boys I have a little bit difficult. But they watch me, how I live my life, how I do my thing. And they learn from me. All my four children graduate from university in different fields. They are very good children. They are very smart. They are very successful in business work. Because they watch me how I live my life. And they learn from that. So here, if you on welfare, you depend on the tax of pay your money. Your children gonna do the same. You hear what I'm saying? And the children, there's a shooting in school. They're fighting in school. 
teenager drop out of school, get pregnant. How that work? What is their parent done? You have to live your life for your children to learn from you. Don't blame on the school. Don't blame on the educator. They're not the one brought them in the world. They're not responsible for your children. Shooting at school. The parents need to be teach here so you can make change. Live your life correctly under the creation law. Not under the government law. A lot of government law passed against the creation law. The parent need to be teach. So the after the parent make change, so the parent can teach the children. That how it work. No police, not all police are good, but majority of them really good. They risk their life in their work. When you see violent shooting, you run. They are run in. So you have to give police the credit for that. Yes, there are some bad. There's a nowhere, no few are perfect. But the number of the bad police officer, very small. They try to make change. That's one I know. Let me write the case of Joyce of Floyd in here. I don't have anything against African. I don't have anything against color, skin. I'm Asian. General Officer Samuel is a Caucasian. There's some people that stay in, in, in my house, one of some of the room there, empty. I let them stay. One from Turkey. The one from Turkey, he lived in that room for seven years. I have some Korean. I have some African mixed Korea. I have Vietnamese stay here with me. I'm not discriminate anyone. So I want you to know that before I'm speaking about Joyce of Florida. I agree. The police officer did so bad. Dissolve, kill George Floyd. But who's initially that? George Floyd. He was a counterfeit $20 that led to the so called the police. Why the judge of Floyd used a twenty dollar counterfeit? Because of the family that raised him did not raise him correctly. You see that? So even was when the judge that lost to Joy Floyd lost his life. If the parent 
praise him correctly. He never used that $20 counterfeit. And he's still alive. You see that? And worse, when they fixed the system, everything, the police, the police, the police, the police is around. You don't fly them, nothing wrong. No chains on the George Floyd's side. That's the wrong system of make chain. That's why I just say, teach the parent. The parent need to be teach so they can teach their kid correctly. Both sign, the police sign, and the people and the people sign. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say you only see this much. Yeah. Uh, there's a police kneel on the Joseph Floyd uh, neck. That's why he died. So we're going to defend police. We're going to put the police in jail. They did not see the cause. There is the Joseph of Floyd. Use the $20, $20 counterfeit. Why don't go do that? Check that side. Why don't go chain the parent of George Floyd? That's kind of need to be correct. So in other words, you have to correct 180 degree on both sides. So the system can work. Teenager bring gun in school shooting. What did you do? They, they killed the children. Sometimes the, the shooter get killed. The shooter get in jail. What the government does? Nothing to make the correction. And the side of the shooter family. Because the shooter family did not teach him, did not raise him correctly. The mental illness got him. When you live your life, violate creation love, then here, the devil get in your brain. And there here is the mental illness. Do you understand what I'm saying? You just need to have to watch this video again and again. I take my time, actually my divine father ordered me to do it today. Because I saw Dr. Sanjay Gupta on CNN did some work on the mental illness. But he done as a doctor. What I'm saying here is uh, in the high level, in the power level, in the area where all things created before it's come down on earth. In another word that I'm saying here about things that before get in the human mind and become mental illness and a curve so all the people can see it like Dr. Sanjay can see it. You see, I say things. I'm teaching. I'm teaching you. My divine father gave me to teach you. When you listen to my father gave me to deliver to you and make you. And you will not have a mental illness. But that is the process. It's just take a long time. I want to speak to <laughs> United States Attorney General Merrick Gallen. He doesn't want to hear from me. 
it's a very difficult for him every time he receives my email. But he stuck with me. Now he is uh, the one that appointed by the master of the universe at the undercover as the U.S. Attorney General. So now he have to get out and make change. Surprised me. I did not know it. But my divine father, the mass of universe, appointed the first advocate, the first advocate, See, I'm the second, I'm a known advocate, but I'm divine. This one is not divine, this one's just only on, 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 on the funny human. I did not know that until the last few days. His name is Gary Savannah, S-Y-L-V-A-N-U-S. That's his last name. He's a, he's, I think he's, a, he's African, African uh, American. Um, I, I got his picture. My husband, Jerry Miller, met with him in Sudan. At an officer for the embassy, he doesn't have that much power. No. But God appointed him as an advocate to representing all the government officer and the government of the United States. So getting ready an escort, the real top commander in Afghanistan, four-star general, Austin Scott Miller, back home, here in San Diego, fly my air bus. There's all the, uh, all the Sudanese and priests and officer and, and engineer escort General Miller back here. Now my father was saying that this Gary, Officer Gary, doesn't have very much power. But he represented America. He started the healing process. He brought General Miller home here in San Diego, America, alive. After the Biden and he pop order American CIA operative. Alcatraz assassinate General Miller 15 times. Fell. They fell all 15 times. So now here Gary got in. Okay, you. They might say, uh, here Gary, you, you, you intervene in for, 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 for God. You take care of this general and bring him home after he escaped that. Bring him home to his family, to his wife and his children, in order for healing. I already gave Gary, and I already gave U.S. Attorney General Garland. And the Garland Attorney General take the lead in Washington.
to bring Congress. I don't know who is the Congress here. There are two party fighting like this, like this. So I don't know who is the Congress. Men gonna, or congressmen or Congress women, gonna come with Attorney General gun. And I don't know who in the army here because the Secretary of the Army and Joy Chief of the Step Chairman on the ship of ass uh, assassinated General Miller. But the U.S. Attorney General responsibility to lead uh, the team from Washington to San Diego International Airport to salute the four-star general escaped debt 15 times. Come home alive. To salute him, to welcome him, and to apologize to him. Apologize to me, his wife, and apologize to his children, Sarah Miller and Austin Scott Miller Jr. Also to apologize to American tax payer, American voter, voter, because the voter vote the Biden in the White House, and he commit crime. He tried to kill your county general because the tax payer pay them. And you pay them, and they try to kill, uh, the, to, to kill your general, which they did, but they fell. So the U.S. Attorney General and the whole team have to apologize to them as the beginning of the healing. Because from what I saw in my dream last night, and my divine father tell me uh, that criminal soldier impersonate General Miller got beat by mob or by gang and mob and I say oh my god in another word that he, the, the gang gangster and map here symbolic a violent, rooting, uh, you know, killing during the protest. That's what he mean by, by that. The, that man that I saw in my dream, beaten by gang and mob. So in order, to uh, not occur violent and beating and rooting and, and, and on the America streets. The responsibility of U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland to take the lead of fixing Attorney General, you hear me. You hear me well. You have to face me. I don't know how you're going to react, but I'm not the one that lay out a rule or do things. The mass of the universe, my divine father, are the one that do them everywhere throughout the world. Okay, now I'm gonna have to say goodbye. It is one hour, 35 minutes already. 
It's a very long video. I never done this before. So I, you have to re-watch it and watch it again. It is a very hard to un, to connect things that one I'm speaking. Because a human don't have that brain to collect, so you have to watch it again and again and again. All right, goodbye.